Hi everyone. So the poem that I chose is called Brown Sister. It's by Marcella Fittisone and we actually graduated from the same high school and she wrote this last year and so the story behind it is that before Samoan women were very strong and courageous and they they were warriors but then events happened along the way and in her poem she mentions the arrival of missionaries and this really changed um, how Samoan women viewed themselves they were more um, weak in a way and they um, fell under the leadership of men and so because of this they were very submissive you know they married um, men that they didn't want to marry they were beat up um, they were raped and yeah things like that and so throughout the the journey Samoan women even till now they they want to separate themselves from this they want to become independent they they don't want to depend on men anymore they want to become educated and so for her her message in this poem is to let them know that she remembers them she knows that they are fighting a battle and that right now she's um, going to school in hopes to return home and get back the rights that they once had. And so the poem is called Brown Sister and it goes like this. Brown Sister, I haven't forgotten you. Our history is misconstructed, voiceless, inaccurate, and written by who? A man not of our complexion, nothing of your reflection. He stole your identity, called you a heathen, gave you the Bible and told you what to believe in, told you you were dirty, promiscuous, and a savage. Cover your breast, you women are whores, a conscience, a body, but no longer yours. Though the world doesn't know what you've been through, brown sister, I haven't forgotten you. He raped you and he beat you. It was the first time. They said, don't worry, men will be men. But then he raped you and he beat you. He raped you and he beat you. He raped you and he continued to beat you over and over again. Because who wants to talk about, about the prevalence of violence in the house? The man is the boss. She's merely his spouse. Waiting for everyone to go to bed so she can read her book. Why does she need education? She knows how to cook. That'll get her a husband. That's all that has mattered. She's taught not to feel. Her ego left broken and shattered. They criticize you for wanting wealth independence, abortion, divorce. Say you're not a true Samoan woman, vehemently with force. Your words, your actions, your thoughts taboo. Brown sister, I haven't forgotten you. You encounter the stereotypes that put you down. Face it, you're a woman, you're ignorant, and you're brown. It's no wonder we women don't look to math and science to excel. Success for us is seen in our men in the sevens and the NFL. You come from the largest region in the world, but have no representation. You can check other, Native Hawaiian, Pacific Islander slash Asian. You put everyone's needs before your own, but it's never enough. They tell you not to complain. Don't cry. You have to be tough. Take my hand. Come with me. We'll see it through. Brown sister, I haven't forgotten you. The waves carry your legacy coming in with the tide. Speaking your ambitions and dreams, you no longer have to hide behind a man. No more struggles, pain, and strife. I lift you up with endless pride. Nafanua, Salamasina, Lauli, all these names untold. My Samoan sisters, so righteous and bold. I hear your cries in the wind, songs of plead for equality. I promise, someday we won't be the minority of the minority. Let me speak to your diligence, efforts, and devotion. Let me tell of your humble hearts, pure in emotion. I will fight for our rights and freedoms that you once knew. Brown sister, I'll never forget you. So, wow. <laughs> and so, um, Samoan women are still facing these um, issues today. 
their identity is lost in that of a man. Um, so I hope she returns home and she fights for the rights of someone woman. And thank you.